as you already know, Class S1 power sets imported to Ceylon in 1938. By 1954, two of them were deemed unfit for passenger service. But Ceylon railway engineers opted to craft a new locomotive using the discarded power set. This is the story of it. From abandoned engines to Jayanti, the islands made first locomotive, M3589. Welcome back to Railwatch Chronicles, where every track tells a tale. Sri Lanka's ingenious invention from castaway engines to Jayanti, the island's first locomotive. Today, we embark on a journey through Sri Lanka's railway history. To a time of resourcefulness and innovation. It's 1956 and the Ceylon government railway faces a dilemma. Two S1 class locomotives, battered by years of coastal service, languish in retirement. But instead of sending them to the scrapyard, Chief Mechanical Engineer P. Rajgopal has a bold vision to breathe new life into these machines to birth Sri Lanka's very first locomotive. Eighteen years earlier, in 1938, three S1 power sets arrived in Ceylon. In our previous video, we introduced the Silver Trio to you. These British titans hauled passengers along the scenic coast their rhythmic chugging echoing through coconut groves. But time and tide take their toll. By 1954, two engines were deemed unfit for passenger service. Yet, Mr. Rajgopal saw potential where others saw scrap. He envisioned a powerful workhorse, a shunting locomotive that would serve the railway with renewed vigor. This was the genesis of M3589, later christened Jayanti, meaning anniversary, a tribute to the 2500th anniversary of Lord Buddha celebrated that year. Design and rebirth. The mechanical drawing team, under the chief engineer's watchful eye, brought Jayanti to life. It was a unique creation, a center cab wonder where the driver stood at the heart of the machine commanding its every breath. Dark blue, light blue, and silver gleamed on its newly forged body, a symbol of progress and national pride. On September 5, 1956, Transportation Minister Maitripala Senanayaka officially declared Jayanti operational. It was a glorious day, not just for the railway, but for the entire nation. Sri Lanka had built its own locomotive, a testament to its engineering prowess. But the road wasn't always smooth. Designed for shunting, Jayanti found passenger service on the Anuradhapura Medawachchia line taxing. The engine overheated, demanding adjustments and modifications. Photos from this period reveal her evolving form, a constant striving for optimal performance. Legacy and Mystery Undeterred, the CME team went on to create a second M3 locomotive, M3590. Sent to Gala, it chugged tirelessly, connecting towns and villages along the southern coast. Today, however, these pioneering engines remain shrouded in mystery. Few photos and scant records tell their tale, but their legacy lives on a whisper in the wind, a testament to the ingenuity and determination of a nation.
We must not let Jayanti's story fade into oblivion. Let us delve deeper, search for the missing pieces, and bring her story to life. Let the rhythmic clatter of her wheels once again echo through the ages, a timeless reminder of Sri Lanka's pioneering spirit. This is not just a story of a locomotive, it's a story of ambition, of overcoming challenges, and of shaping the future. Remember, even the most forgotten engines can spark the flames of innovation. So, let's keep searching, keep exploring, and keep the spirit of Jayanti alive. See you next time in Railwatch Chronicles, where every track tells a tale.